The vehicle next to me today is, in my opinion, the best looking minivan on the market. I'm James. This is Test Drive. Join me while we take a full tour of this 2024 Toyota Sienna LE. Now, the LE for Toyota is relatively a base model, all things considered. Now, the biggest thing that we've added on here is the all wheel drive system, which is absolutely fantastic to have. And also the fact that this is hybrid makes things even better. Now, let's take a look under the engine. We have a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that is going to give us 245 horsepower and 176 pound feet of torque. Again, those numbers are combined with that hybrid battery that is on board here. We also get an eCVT transmission and we can tow up to 3,500 pounds. So what's this people hauler got to offer? Now that all the numbers are out of the way, let's take a look. We're gonna do an exterior tour first, then we're gonna hop in the interior. And of course we're taking on a test drive. Let's get it. So next up, as usual, we move to the front end for the Toyota Sienna. You can see how big and wide it is because they did that because you really want to have the most space in your people hauler possible. Now, if you've seen Toyota Siennas in the past, well, maybe they weren't the best lookers in the game, but I think Toyota has gone ahead and changed that with this look. I really like these daytime running LEDs. I like, you know, it does add a little bit of sport into a minivan, which most people would consider boring, but I really like this, like this front chin that it has. I got no front, no front camera, no part parking sensors, nothing like that. Cause again, we are on the cost saving side of the trim here, but I'm sure you can upgrade it to get that stuff. We do have some nice like vents down here too. I do really like this front end. I think it's my favorite part of the vehicle. I think it's my, my favorite change that Toyota has made over the years to just make this thing look a little bit more modern. And I think they've accomplished that. I also really like this, this gray paint that it comes in very nice. There's a bunch of different color options that you can get, but I think I would actually take it in the gray. It looks very solid here. Now onto the side profile for our Toyota Sienna. You can see how absolutely massive this thing is from the side. I mean, I just have minivan for days and I really like it. Look, I'm not normally a minivan driver. I'm not normally a minivan appreciator, but the way that this thing looks really makes me appreciate minivans that much more and just the usability of it. So you can see I have this big door right here that can slide back and open. See so how this big entryway, this, the driver's door has a huge entry rate. I do have nice mirrors. I've got blind spot detection on them as well. I like these rims. Look, it's very basic, but you don't need anything complicated when you have a vehicle like this. Now, one thing I will mention is in this model that I have, there is no keyless entry. I do have a button once the car is unlocked that I can open these doors with that will slide back like this. We'll hop into the interior in just a second, but just to give you a quick peek of how that works very nicely, but I actually have to have the car unlocked in order to use that. So you do need your key fob. But what's cool is I can actually open these doors from the key fob. So that's a very nice touch as well. So now we move around back for the Toyota Sienna. You can see we have the Sienna badge right there. It looks fantastic. And I really like these taillights. I like how they're just not boring. They bleed over into the side. They bend, they curve. That's very cool to look at. It makes, again, a minivan not so boring, which is obviously the key. Now, next to it, we have our LE badge as well as our hybrid badge. And of course, this is the all-wheel drive version, so we have that too. Now, I have a good amount of visibility out of this rear windshield, rear wiper, all that standard stuff. Let's open the trunk and check out what that's got. So there, it is an automatic. You can see that there is a button here. So I believe that it will come in automatic or does come in automatic, which is nice, but that's not the highlight. The highlight of this minivan here is the amount of storage. Like I can put my hand all the way down here. I dare say I could even squat down and fit in there and close a trunk. No problem. Would it be uncomfortable? Absolutely. But could I do it? Yes. Now I really became a father. So if I have a baby in one arm, but I still need to fold down my seats in my minivan, well, I can do that to it. I have made that absolutely easy to do. So I can pull on this handle. The seats will fold themselves, come right back again. Well, not using my other hand, push right down. No problem. And I can do that with the other seat. Same thing for it to go back up, kind of lift it up there. And then you pull this little string here to bring the seat back up and then you let it go like that. It is very, very good, very storage wise. And it's a third row. So let's actually hop in onto the interior and check out what that's got. All right, here I am inside now, back seat for the Toyota Sienna. And I have a ton of room. I mean, I could be anywhere I need to be in this back seat and it's just great. This is the ultimate road tripper. I am comfortable back here. I've got space. I've got cup holders for days. I've got my own climate control back here that's single zone for the rear, which is really nice. 
I have cup holders. I, I just, there's just endless amount of storage and people space. And I think that's what makes this thing so good. I can even remove this middle seat and get even more cup holders. There's cup holders underneath this middle seat. If you kind of want the captain chair kind of vibe going for you and you want your third row to be that much more accessible, but I can see a bunch of people in here, <laughs> just endless. And also these seats recline, as you can see, I have this one recline. It also does move backwards and forwards so I can go all the way up and about this far back. Then we also have some privacy screens for this big window. These windows back here are actually automatic, which is surprising. You don't expect to find that every day, but there it is. Very nice. I'm just so impressed with the amount of room I have in here. I've never really driven a minivan. Like I've driven one, but it's, I don't even consider it one because that Dodge Caravan was a rental and it was terrible. Uh, so this is like the first proper brand new minivan. And I'm so glad it's a Toyota because I think they're the best on the market. And so far so good here in the rear. Let's see now how we fit in the third row. All right, so third row, enough room, right? Like it's, there's just enough room where I'm not that uncomfortable. I mean, I don't think I would want to spend my road trip back here being a full adult, but if you have like small kids and stuff like that, or for short trips and I'm just going somewhere, like going out to eat with a bunch of friends, this is perfect, this is no problem. I also have back here, I have a USB and a USB-C and two cup holders and a cup holder for the other side. It's actually perfect and it's so easy to get in. The doorway is so big, the seats fold up, no problem there's really not much to complain this is the ultimate people mover okay so now my favorite part of the sienna the driver's seat i really want to start by talking about the steering wheel because the second i put my hands on it i'm like oh you know i've really never driven too many toyotas in my life and i guess the minivan is going to be my first true toyota or the longest i've ever spent in a toyota and they make great if if this is how it's going to be for the rest of the toyotas that we drive here they make great steering wheels. I really, really like the feel of it. I like how it's smooth, especially in a minivan. I'm not looking for feedback. I'm not winning any races in this car, 245 horsepower, you know? So I really like the feel of the steering wheel. Feeling is gonna be a big thing and comfort is gonna be a big thing with this van and that's how I'm gonna look at it. So for the steering wheel, I've got some media controls, basic stuff. I do have cruise control here and I do have lane keep assist, which is a nice touch. This being one of the lower end models. I do have heated steering, heated seats, I've got automatic high beams, which again, very nice to see in this trim. I like the, the wood paneling everywhere. I like there's like, it's definitely not a boring interior. And you know, if they wanted to cost save, they had every right to make this interior plain and boring. And I don't really think they did that. I think they made a big effort to give us as much as they could. The only thing I will say about the heated steering is that it's only on the two sides of the steering wheel. It's not on the top or bottom. So you really got to drive like this when your hands are cold and that will kind of suit you well. Then I have a good mix of digital and analog, kind of got like a digital screen in the, in the center here for my gauge cluster which is decent right like i don't need anything else it tells me like my point of charge it tells me you know everything i need to know what the battery level at what my fuel economy is at all that stuff is right there it tells me what drive mode i'm in it tells me whether the the gauge cluster on the left tells me whether i'm in charge eco mode or whether i'm getting into the power for the car even though there's not much there's not much power to it but that's fine we're not expecting that now I move over to our infotainment display. Plenty big, no problem. There's some Toyota apps that you can, you can download. Like if I press the map button, it's gonna tell me that the navigation app isn't installed because it just isn't installed on my tester, but good to know that it can be. If you need it, that's great. It's very easy, very snappy. It's just basic, basic, basic. And that's all you need here. You, you don't need anything complicated because you're gonna be focused more on the road. It does have wired CarPlay and Android Auto. So that's probably what most people I think are gonna use in these vehicles. You plug it into the USB right up front here. And then it's just, you know, I just like how basic it is. There's really not much to say about it. Then we move a little bit lower. I have dual zone climate control up here in total. That's three zones of automatic climate control, which is very nice again for the price point in this trim. I've got heated seats for the driver and passenger. Very nice. Again, buttons easily laid out, very easy to use and just hop in and drive. Then just below that, I have this nice shelf that doesn't really slide things around too much. I mean, you're not really doing that much sporty driving with a Sienna, so things are gonna stay in place. You got this classic looking shifter, very simple once again. I've got four cup holders, two up front here, two here, a ton of storage in this thing. This thing just goes on forever. Then I have this thing on the bottom here that you could put bags, whatever you need. This is the ultimate, you know, I could just go on and on and on. I can go across Canada in this thing and have space for weeks and days. I do also have an EV mode, which I'm in right now. That's why you can't hear the engine if I turn it off. The engine will kick on just like that. 
put myself uh, ev mode's not available probably because i just started the engine but there you go the engine's on now but you can put it in ev mode especially if you're solely driving around in a parking lot but now i think i've used a little bit of the battery so it's going to use the engine to charge it because this is not a plug-in so that's pretty much it for the highlights on the interior let's take it on a test drive we'll talk about seat comfort fuel economy how it is to actually drive and what it's like to live with a toyota sienna let's get on the road all right, so here we are out on the road now with the 2024 Toyota Sienna. And like I said, it's near the end of the week for me here and I've had this all week and it's just been absolute comfort and absolute ease to drive. You know, I just know it's gonna, it's gonna run the way it should be and I'm gonna be comfortable while doing it. And also I'm gonna save money because I've got the hybrid system in here and this is a big car to, to lug around. So when you have the hybrid system, it's a very nice touch. Now, like I said, I do have some things in, in, in terms of drive modes. I've got an eco mode. I've also got a sport mode. So let's kind of give it some juice. And you know, you can hear the engine. <laughs> it's basically giving me all it's got and it's little electric battery is doing the same. And 245 horsepower, like I said, we're not winning any races, you know, and then you're not trying to, you just need to be good enough to be able to get up to highway speeds. And I think it does that no problem. I mean, I'm, I'm at the highway speeds that I would need to be, and that's it, it's perfect. I can go right back into my normal mode and look, I'm just comfortable. I'm just sitting here driving across Canada, no problem if I needed to, you know, <laughs> that's all it is. And like I said, this steering feel is so, so good. Um, I'm such a fan of it. I hope the other Toyotas are like that too. Very, very nice to, to feel, to hold. Like I said, not looking for feedback here, just looking for comfort and easeability. And I've got that in droves with the Toyota Sienna. And it like, you know, I'm looking at my back mirror. I feel, I do feel very big on the road. That, that's no secret there, but I don't mind because I am very, very big. And people usually know what a Toyota Sienna is. And it's like, if you have a large family or just you're, you're regularly getting together with a lot of large groups of people, then this could be very nice for you. And I think that, you know, if had I, you know, if I happen to have a couple more kids, I think it's the Toyota Sienna might be on the top of the list to get something going. Cause it's just convenience, convenience, convenience. And this is such a convenient minivan. And like I said, I just love the design of it. I love the interior of it. It's just easy to drive. The, the seat comfort is good too. I'm not like, it's not too firm, not too soft. It's right there in that sweet spot. The passenger seat's just as comfortable. The rear seats are just like, it's all just comfort, comfort, comfort. And that's what you want, right? Because naturally you're gonna, you're gonna take a minivan. Like the last time that I really drove a minivan was a Dodge Caravan. No idea what year it is. But it, you know, and it was a rental. I wasn't doing reviews or anything like that. So it was just a rental. I may, I like, I was doing reviews, but not like actively, not every week, whatever. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll do a review on it. That thing was so garbage that I would have completely just, it would be, it would have been pointless. But it's not really, I can't really blame Dodge for that. I think it's more the, the rental company not taking care of things. But that's the only thing I have to compare it to is a Dodge Caravan. And, the, you know, Toyota Sienna is, is miles ahead of it, I think. I just from the one that I drove anyways, this is such a big improvement. And honestly, that one I drove gave me a bad taste for minivans when I drove it. And then the Sienna is kind of reviving my, my like for minivans, my like for people haulers. It is really cool, really solid. And I just like, you know, me being a dad now, it's like, well, I have so much space for everything. Cause now when I go out, you know, I got the stroller, I got this, that, and the other thing. And the Sienna has space for like four of them. So <laughs> not that I want four kids, but still that if I needed that, if I needed that capacity, it's there, it's ready to go and it's excellent. Now I want to touch a little bit on fuel economy since this is a hybrid. So I'm using a little bit of gas and electric, but I'm still pretty much almost on a full day. <laughs> like it's, I really haven't dropped that much. I'm doing 8.3 liters per hundred kilometers. To me, that's impressive only because I do a lot of city driving so lots and lots and lots of stop and go um, not so much not a lot of highway not long stretches of highway I'm, I'm sure if i did a long stretch of highway it would really drop that number but it's really really good really solid toyota quotes about 6.7 so i'm just just a little bit above that but still 6.7 is impressive if you can get there but they evaluated highway and city combined i do a lot of city driving like small city driving lots of stop signs and stuff like that so and it is a big thing to pick up and go all the time so completely completely fine there and like i really like also the the, the road noise is not very loud here i feel like they've done a good job with noise isolation so you know it's just a perfect thing it's a, it's a perfect you know road tripper or everyday car whether you're driving in it or being driven in it personally i prefer to drive always but you know there's some people that just like to be passengers and you can definitely do that in absolute comfort whether you're sitting next to the driver you're sitting in the back seat you're going to be comfortable either way 
So moments like these where I'm not really on the gas, there's a stop sign coming up ahead and I kind of let things go, it really does kick in that EV engine. Now, I just want to show you what happens here when I press my EV mode and then try to kind of drive around in it. I'll tell you what, what kilometer it actually clacks out at. So here we go. I'm going to come to a full stop here. Completely stopped, press my EV button and let's go from a stop sign, still in EV mode still in EV mode and boom. So around like 25 kilometers, it cut it off because the accelerator was pressed too far. So I wonder if I don't press it that much and just kind of give it some beams here. Let's try this again. All right, we're not gonna press it that much and there's nobody behind me. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try to accelerate, but like gradually. Still in EV mode, we're at 27, 30. Still in EV mode, 34, 35, 36, 37. Okay, so it really does depend on how hard you're actually hitting the your accelerator. If you need more power, the EV battery is just not gonna give it to you, but you could really just kind of creep crawl around and you're gonna be fully in EV mode until that battery is gone. It's gonna use the engine to obviously recharge it, but let's see. Yeah, see, I pushed it too hard there and, and it kicked back on, but that's very interesting. So if you're just driving around in parking lots, very slow speed, you're not gonna use, you're not gonna be on power. And when I'm coasting also, like, so I'll get up, give it some beams here and then we'll coast. Kills the engine immediately. The second I do that, the engine's gone. And it's telling me I'm in full EV mode. Press it again kicks the engine back on. It's such a smooth system. I can, the only reason I know that the engine's coming on is because I don't have any radio, nothing on, and I can hear it coming on. I cannot feel it, which is really, really important here to note with a hybrid system. So yeah, really solid. I really like that feature. So I think that's just about gonna cover it for the Toyota Sienna. Plenty of space, really comfortable. I, kn I know that some people might have problems with the price. I know that like, you know, this is kind of the base model, but I think all wheel drive is important. I think you need it. I think if you're in like, a, you know, anywhere that's just gonna change climate, if you have winter, if you have snow, you wanna be safe, right? And you, so you really wanna do invest in, in the all wheel drive. And I think for the cost saving version of the Toyota Sienna, I think we have more than I would have expected from a lower end model of a Sienna. So that's really, really good news. And I think you are, you're probably getting your money's worth, especially if you actually have a need. If you're driving this and you're, you're like a two person household, you really like minivans and you don't need the space, that's cool. But I think if you're really can justify the use, if you have a big family, you're gonna be really, really happy with this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. If you liked this video, go ahead and watch another one. That's the best way to support the channel. We've got a whole bunch of cars coming up. We got a whole bunch of cars that we've already done. So go check them out on the channel and make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff if you wanna do that too. With that being said, I'll see you in the next week. See you in the next car. Take care.